If you are under the age of 18, the content of this video is not intended for you. Please stop watching now. Hey YouTube, it's Audrey and I'm here to join in with Two Crafters One Design whose theme for the week was treat bags or treat boxes and sat more and makes even though it's Thursday. <laughs> But I had originally planned on having this as part of my tropical collab, tropical cookout collab that I'm in on Saturdays. And that one this last week was all about the drinks part two, which was a carryover from Citrus Punch Mondays that I had did um, the week before. At least I think that's one. I got too many collaborations going on. <laughs> and too many things happening. So therefore, I got this started, but I did not have time to finish it for last Saturday. And this is the first night that I've been able to um, get it finished. So I'm, you know, uploading it. And I know that there is a new theme next week, but I really wanted to participate because so often I'll pull the things out, but then just don't get the time to do it. So I'm rambling now, but let me show you what I made. But before I do that, um, Two Crafters, One Design is hosted by Melissa, who's Mo Creations. You see why I'm a diva, who is Lisa, and then Gloria, who is Girly as Cards. And then Satmore and Makes is hosted by Jill Norwood. I will have their links in the description box below. So let me show you what I used. I used these pink fresh gems in the glitter drop gems in champagne. I pulled out some old, old, old flowers from Michael's. This one was a craft mark from the dollar bin. And this one was the paper flowers um, from Recollections. And this is from 2016. This one was from 2018. So pulling out some old stuff. This could be part of the VOT video, which goes up tomorrow. But... That'll be a different video tomorrow. So come back and watch my Crack the Vot collaboration video tomorrow too. These are summer shadow words from KS Craft. And I use one word out of that dive set. This is the coconut drink shaker. And that's from KS Crafts. And then this is the 3D beach bag from KS Crafts. So, I'm using the tropical theme. As I said, this was originally supposed to be part of my tropical collaboration last week. And I still wanted to get it in this week instead of waiting till Saturday. So, um, I use this tropical vacation paper. And then, I am really starting to like all of the different... Um, foam square sizes circles and thicknesses that they are putting out at scrapbook.com a lot of them i have gotten free with orders to try out this particular one is a one millimeter one so if you only need just a hint hint i mean just a hint of thickness that one millimeter works really well so those are the things that I used. And then here is my treat bag. I also used a whole lot of sequins and beads, as you can see in there. I must be in a shaker mode because I have made more shakers over the last month than I think I have made in the last year. <laughs> so... um. I just, I've gotten some shaker dies and um, I've just decided to use some of the bazillion sequins that I have. And this is um, a mix of just going through, I have two plastic um, 
shoebox shoeboxes that I have stored sequins and beads for shakers in. So I have a lot. But, you know, I find that sometimes I don't have the right colors. But with the paper that I used, I found little flowers that color in there. This paper also has some little pink flowers. So I put a little kind of pinky coral flowers. So I put little pinky coral sequins in there. There's some little white flat beads. There's iridescent um, kind of cat eye kind of um sequins there's some flat glitter sequins in here and then there are just a few little yellow ones in there too really tiny yellow flat ones that are the same size as the little white ones in there because there are some yellow flowers in this paper of course that um drink paper with the coconut drink came from that tropical vacation paper and then this paper, I didn't show it, but it came from, I believe, a Kingston's craft pad that I got um, that has solids and prints in it. Here is the coconut drink dye. And then I just added some of the little tiny flowers. And on these flowers, I put the little bling in the middle from Pink Fresh. Here's the word relax out of that summer shadow words. The straw and the umbrella came with the drink set. This is that one little recollections flower. And then I used acetate and I used one other thing that I did not show. And I think I put it back already, but... I used Spellbinders, um, not glitter foam, but their pop-up foam to cut out the foam for this. I just layered it twice to make it thicker because it is a thinner foam, but I cut it out twice, glued it together, layered it on there, and it allows enough room for all the shaking to happen. I love the handle layers here. I love the stitching. I just think this is kind of cute. So this again was part of, was going to be all about the drinks too. But I guess I could call this affectionately all about the drinks number three. On the back, I just left the paper plain. But instead of making a shaker, I used the border to outline it. And then I also use some foam for this handle to give it this kind of stability that the other side has. I use the pink paper to mat around the bottom. And then the inside is the same color as the um, base paper. I use the green as base and then I cut it out again, the base in the pattern paper and then I cut out the shaker frame in the green and then just alternated the green and the pink since these colors were muted tropical colors but I like the way it turned out you could get a lot of stuff in there not sure what I'm going to use this for or who I'm going to give it to but I'm building a stash. I'm building a stash. So need to do some cute little cards to match or like a three by three card maybe to match this. But that is my treat bag for two crafters, one design. And then I'm also submitting it for Satmore Makes. So that is that. And again, tomorrow I will be on Friday with a Crack the Vault collaboration. I'll be back on Saturday with the next installment of the Tropical Cookout collaboration. And then I'll be back again on Monday for the final installment. Oh, it makes me sad because I still have so much more to use. But I'll just use it in regular crafting. But Monday will be the final installment of the Citrus Punch Mondays. 
that I have hosted and had hosted along with my friend Veronica VLB Island One last month. So um, stay tuned for that. Play along if you want. All of these collaborations have hashtags. And if you don't play along, add the hashtags or search the hashtags and just get inspiration because there are some very talented crafters who play along and you can get plenty of inspiration. So thank you so much for watching and you have a great and a very blessed day. Bye-bye.